We can use RoboArchitect to pull data from Excel files without having to have uh, any spreadsheet software installed on our machine. So here's an example of some data that I have, uh, and the Excel file can have multiple worksheets, as many worksheets as uh, it can support. And we can use RoboArchitect to pull just this first tab here uh, to a CSV or other delimited file. And I'll show you how in just a second. So that was our sample Excel file. In just one simple command, we can use RoboArchitect's convert function to input a sample, sample Excel.xlsx. That's what we're converting from. Our destination file will be converted from Excel.csv. Just uh, to switch things up a little bit, I'm going to put in a custom delimiter, the pipe delimiter, and I'm going to tell it I only want my sheet converted over. So as we go from Excel, which can support multiple worksheets, to a, a simple flat file, we don't have support for worksheets in there, so we have to convert uh, just one sheet, and we're telling uh, we're telling RoboArchitect that the sheet we want to pull is called my sheet. Our log level uh, we have as info. Again, RoboArchitect uh, supports multiple log levels. Info is the most summarized. You can also do debug or trace, but for this example, we'll just uh, have info here. And if I run this. We have our log file, which again, since we're just at the info level, it's just gonna tell me that we converted our file successfully. And we see converted from excel.csv appeared. So if I just uh, edit this, I'm going to see that our worksheet was pulled over and that custom delimiter that I entered, the pipe, is the delimiter for each of the columns here. As we've shown with some of our other videos, we can also uh, generate this script by going to philanianalytics.github.io slash roboarchitectui, which is our graphical uh, command line builder for roboarchitect commands. We can select from our dropdown the convert uh, function, and we can specify our source file, sample excel.xlsx, Converted from Excel.csv will be our destination. Uh, this is an optional field, and you can tell because it doesn't have the required field little asterisk next to it. If you don't specify a name, it'll take the same name as the source and just uh, append a .csv to the end. Our delimiter, uh, we could have input a comma if we wanted to. In this case, we just input the pipe character and the sheet name is where we're pulling from in our Excel file. So that was named my sheet. Custom log, we have an option here of uh, having a custom log. We could enter either a custom name, we could enter custom level. If we wanted more granularity in our log, we could change from info to debug or trace. And our output um, can be either Windows, Linux, or Mac. Once we click the generate script, we will get a download of the script file, which we can uh, just run just similarly to uh, what we did in our demo.